Hello, I'm Debbie Peverell, and welcome to the weekly tip from PaymentsFinancialLearning.ca. What I'm talking about this week is using credit cards in your business. Do you accept credit cards from your customers or clients to pay you for the services that you offer? There is a trade-off here. If you're going to accept credit cards, then you're going to pay money for that privilege. You pay for monthly processing, you pay service charges. What you might not know is that you pay more for more expensive cards than you do for some basic cards. So if someone brings you a platinum card or a black card, it's possible that that processing is more expensive than if someone has a plain, regular credit card. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business, known as CFIB, of which I am a member and you should be too if you're a business owner, they have a campaign going where you will see signs up at some cash registers. Would you consider paying cash? Did you know that small businesses in Canada pay a lot for credit card fees? So it's a, that's an interesting approach, which is contrary, um, or contrary, I guess, in juxtaposition, there's a better word, from the campaign that one of the banks is running about how you should put all of your transactions on a credit card in order to gain those points. So you're gaining the points, or the customer's gaining the points, and the business owner is paying more money for it. So think about this, you are t if you're going to take credit cards, you're doing it because you get your money quicker from your customers. How much quicker? That is something you need to figure out because if you had a line of credit and you're paying interest on it, then how much are you going to pay on your line of credit while you wait for your customers to pay you and would you be better off taking the credit card? Would it cost you less to take the credit card, pay the fee, than to pay the interest on the line of credit when you are waiting for your customers to pay you? So if you're going to take credit cards, you might want to take a look at your pricing. Perhaps you need to put all your prices up by a couple percent to make sure that you're not losing money because of the amount of money that you're paying off your credit cards. So think about that. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you next week.